Welcome back to Technique Quad. My name is Doug Larson from the Barbell Shrug Podcast. You can find us at barbellshrug.com. Uh, today I want to talk about body types uh, with respect to weightlifting. Uh, if you watch the show or you've watched a lot of other Technique Quads, you've probably heard me say before that the best weightlifters tend to be short people that have long torsos and very short limbs. People that have that particular type of body structure and, and limb length proportion tend to be very good weightlifters naturally. People that have the opposite structure, people that are taller and people that have short torsos and longer limbs tend not to be very good at weightlifting, which is why there's not a lot of very tall, especially high level weightlifters. You know, just like, just like something uh, like basketball, there's a body type that fits the sport and those people tend to be best at that particular sport. So it's definitely like that for weightlifting. Shorter people, long torsos, short limbs tend to be best. Most of us aren't like that and we're not that lucky to be uh, of, of that particular body type and so we have to make, we have to make different adjustments in order to have uh, the technique be easy for us to perform correctly. So myself, I happen to be a little bit of a taller athlete. I'm not super tall, I'm only 5'11", uh, but I have, I got long limbs, which is great for throwing baseballs, but it's not great for doing Olympic weightlifting. So uh, my short torso and my long limbs makes it where I have to have some different adjustments um, to have good technique. So for me, as a person that has that short torso and longer limbs, it's gonna be very difficult for me to, to squat or do any amount of Olympic weightlifting with my feet very narrow and my toes 100% straight ahead. For me, it's easier to toe out quite a bit, and here's why. If you look at me here, if I'm a person that has good weightlifting mechanics, I can have my feet close together, toes straight ahead, and I can put my knees straight forward and I can be in a position where when I stand up, the bar doesn't hit my shins. That does not work for me. In order for me to get my knees out of the way of the bar, I really only have one option in this case, and that's to pop my butt up and then try to fix, try to fix my position after the fact. Because, um, because I have bad mechanics, I either, like I said, I have to pop my butt up to get out of the way, or I have to move the bar around my, my knees. And the general rule is that you shouldn't pop your butt up and that you should always move your knees around the bar, never the bar around your knees. The bar, in fact, if you look from the side, if I'm doing this correctly, the bar should kind of come back into me and I shouldn't be moving the bar around my knees. So if you're a person that has a short torso and longer limbs, the other option that you have the other option that you have, instead of picking my butt up to move my knees out of the way, is to push my knees out to move my knees out of the way. So here, if I don't bend my knee any more or any less, it's right up here. If I move my knees out a lot, they come back quite a bit. So what I wanna do to keep that very upright back angle is for me as a person that has a shorter torso and longer limbs, I'm gonna have to push my knees out further and that's gonna help me stay very upright, but at the same time, it's gonna get my knees out of the way of the bar. So if I'm cleaning, if you look at me from the front, if I'm cleaning, I clean, I clean right about here and I push my knees out a lot. And then for me, since I push my knees out a lot, I have to move my grip wider in order to have room for my knees. Okay, now, now when I go to clean, I can push my knees wide like this where I have that diamond shape with my legs. That way I can get into a good position here. Okay. If my toes are straight ahead, I can't push my knees out quite far enough so I usually have to toe out just a little bit. I'm usually about right there. So that's about where I am. Okay. You can make adjustments with how wide your feet are you're gonna have to play with it depending on how long your arms are and how much ankle mobility you have and whatnot. Uh, the same thing goes for snatches. For me, when I snatch, I can't snatch. It's even harder because I have to get lower if I had my, my feet straight ahead like this. It's already touching my shins. If I try to stand up and keep this back angle, I'm already grinding my shins and I haven't even got off the ground yet. So what I have to do when I snatch is toe out quite a bit. I'm here. Now, I'm, now my hip is below my knee and it's barely touching my shin, but as I stand, I can push my knees even wider and keep my butt down and I can make it all the way past my knee. Again, in that diamond position, heel heavy, 
and I can rock right into this power position and I can have had a good upright, I can have had a good upright back angle the whole time all the way past my knee and I never end up in a situation where I have to pop my butt up and then try to finish late or where I have to move the bar around my knees. So if you are a person like me, short torso, long limbs, I want you to try to make that adjustment where you are towed out a little bit, your knees are still outside of your feet. I don't want you to toe out and then still have your knees diving in. That's bad technique no matter what you're doing. But making this adjustment makes it where uh, doing your first pull um, is much more likely to look good, feel good, and to put you into a better second pull position. Um, I miss anything? All right. Uh, if you have more questions, you can go to barbershrug.com, uh, click the Ask a Question tab at the top of the page, and you can fill out that very short survey and ask us a question on the website. If you like this video or any of our other videos, make sure to share it on your Facebook wall by clicking share and then the Facebook icon, and then also like it. Thanks, Drug Thugs.